Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, back with a third unboxing video. If that back a little bit, it's good by now. Um, so, not going to stay when, but it was my birthday a while ago. I uh, got a new low coat and a new uh, L &E Teak coach. Um, so, I did post, I so I did two unboxing videos um, a while ago. I got that class 20 and that class 92. This one, new train, this is brand new, so it's my it's first own. Um, I've never owned one of these before. I've seen a couple of these. I actually cabbed one of them, so there you go. There's a big hint, big, big hint. Um, probably actually gave it away, to be honest. Um, as I did say earlier, it's a new livery I've not had, and it's a new train I've not got. That's diesel. So, um, did no guesses, but I'll reveal it now. There you go, it's a shoe box. It's a class 73, but normally like the last two ones I've done, that was just reveal straight away what livery it was. This time it's got like a little diagram which shows you where it is and what it is. So you can't really guess, but you can. So it could be sleeper, it could be GBRF, it could be something else, but I'm going to reveal it just because there's no point in just looking at an open box, shut box rather. <laughs> uh, thankfully this time it's got these little handles so I can just pull it out. It's going to be clean if this stupid sleeve doesn't come out. And, it hasn't. and it's GBRF. So I've tested this already a couple of times ran it quite a few times because i really just like running it i really like this new model new train i've not got before um it is extremely nice i really like the 73s as i said i've capped it before so i capped 73 970 at sleeper livery in bonus and camille when they had that diesel gala um i as I said, it's nicknamed Shoebox, which I think is nice, a funny name, and I can see the resemblance, although a little bit, but... And then you can also see the nameplate down there, like on some of my trains, like for example my Class 67, which you guys still haven't seen because it's literally not working. Um, I've been running that 67 recently and it has been okay until it starts like buffeting, sort of like back and forth. But uh, it's nicknamed, this one is nicknamed Janice, uh, number 73204. Some of you may know the connection, funny GBRF 73, Richard Mabut in 962, Richard Mabut, and not his actual name, but I'm not going to say that, but you'll know what I mean. Um, so let's take it out the foam and have a proper look at it. windows the, the gray horns and what i really really like about this model is the attention to detail because it's got the wires going around the side or on the sides the buffers it's got it's still actually got its front and back coupling um and it's got like, the 73204 that's always a nice touch when you can see like the number on the side of the train and then like, big bold letters or numbers rather and then there you go I'll put it in focus janice um a really nice little bit of nameplate. Um, I'm going to be really careful, I get scared when I'm holding these. Um, same on the other side, it's got the wires, cables, whatever you want to call it, on the sides. I'm not holding it properly, my bad. Uh, it's not got one in the middle this time, but and it's got the wipers, it's got everything you need on the 73, and it just looks unique, iconic. It's perfect. And this time it's actually good. I've got both the couplings, which I always like to see. It can do a mixed spray, it can go either side. Um, I have a treat at the top of my head. Uh, yeah, it's got the grill, the fan. I don't know what these two white bits are. Panels, I guess. But it's, it's a glorious train. I do really like 73s. One of my favourite trains. I'd love to ride one like on the sleeper service. I'd love to see one of those little network rail trains i don't have any network rail carriages so i'll just be freight trains and maybe a rail tour or two with this 
I also was thinking of maybe doing like a diesel gala um, in a bit, so like maybe with my 66, my 73. I need to get my 37 back, I accidentally left it at a friend's house, so. Right, we're gonna take it over to the layout now, give it a run, you can have a look at it, analyze it, and let me know what you think in the comments. All right, got the power up, jump cutting, let's go. So here now at the layout, and there it is, 73204, running merrily as always. Short little train, just running like local. It's a nippy little scamp. Quick. Just lucky. I do really like the 73s, they've got their own unique, iconic, unique look. And the GB Rail Freight livery on it, that just looks really good. I couldn't be prouder to add a GB Rail Freight 73 to my layout. I might add, uh, considering getting like a 73, a 37, or a 66 again, and I'm trying to get some RHTT wagons as well, so I can have a typical RHTT train. Um, I also have been thinking of other things I need to add. I'm thinking more detailed buildings, but not just that, I also want to get some stuff like um, multiple units, because I think I've only got two, which are the 153 and 158, and actually they're technically the 390. So I'm thinking of either a 156, a 142, or if I was rich enough, a 150 slash one, um, or getting some more AWS wagons, because I've been wanting a couple of them for a while to make the 66 look more realistic. So, let me know in the comments if you have any opinions on what I should get next. Here at the freight yard and I've got my 73 running, right next to my 35. I've actually got the 35, the 20 and the 47 all in the siding to make it a little bit realistic. Sorry about that, I might have actually just nudged it there. Uh, looks a bit like a crew heritage railway siding. It's really nice. 73 darting around. It just looks so cool, the 73 here on my layout. I'm really happy with it. It's a really, really, really good purchase. And should be proud to have another one on my layout. Just great addition to the layout. Now we're at the bridge, where some train spotters could be. Just watching the new addition to the layout running around. Comment below if you know what else the 73s for GBRF do, because also I know they do the network rail trains. But apart from that, the only thing I've seen them do is sit in sidings. I've never seen them pull freight trains or passenger trains before. So, yeah, give me a let me know if you've seen them do other stuff before and I can start to be a bit more realistic and actually running it with low uh, services it would actually do. Got a wee station angle here. 35 more clearly in the siding. I'll turn it around a bit more, I've got the 20 and the 47, just have that angle. And then you've got the shelves in the background, you can see some trains such as the 08 and 06 stuff set there. Comment below if you think I should do more model railway as well, because I'm really starting to get back into model railway now that the shelves are up, I can just put my trains on easily, track them away again and just come back in and run some trains. So I posted the 92 earlier with the 66 comment below, so if you like that video. And I also apologise if I say comment below a lot, that'll probably just become a quote. But it's just because I want to be interactive as possible with the channel. So the 73 has got a big challenge, it's going to pull not one, not two, not three, not four, but eight car passenger train. With my six LNER coach, which is my new one is on there. And I think that's it, it's too fast, it's a bit too fast, it's got down a little bit. But, it's looks really satisfying to see those coaches flying by. The uh, 73 just handling it, just like a day job. Really good local, really good train. Really, generally really happy with it. Um, it'll be great to run on other people's layouts as well. But if you can pull an express train like this, then it can handle quite a lot. I don't think I'll run it with any freight today just because I feel like the freight, I've tried freight before and it doesn't really work right now. So I'll just run it with these inner city coaches, or LNR coaches rather. Maybe turn another train with it. And yeah. I'm going to go quiet for a bit and just let you watch it.
Now it's going to be incredibly noisy, but I've got 73 and the 153 running together. Uh, looking cute. Big 73 powering with a big brake. Passenger express service. The 153 may burn into a little shuttle service. Big an angle at the station now. Can you be in the distance? And then the one going to be past. I'm going to get an angle here, although it may be shaky, it's just in between my 20 and my 35. You can't really see the 153 much, but I'm just going to have a 73. Okay, I'm going to see the 20 in the reflection there of the 73. I really like the 73 overall. I think it's been a great addition, a uh, great project. Really realistic, really accurate. That's what I love about these model trains, just the realism of them. But I also think the new industry, uh, LNER coach will be perfect. Just, I like having more coaches just to make more express trains. And having another interstate say LNER coach, sorry, is just going to be great. And as you can see, it can never do a gap with express service. Overall, I'm really happy with the purchase of 73. I think it's a bit of a last angle I get. Um, having it on the layout gives me another train, gives me more variety, more livery. Um, it's going to be great for like galas. I've also got a friend who's got like a saving layout, so I'll literally go in there because this is going to spend time in like Tunbridge West Yard Junction. Tunbridge West Yard. Um, there's no, I don't have any cab detail, but I think they're a little. If it's a nice driver, that's my second train with the driver after my 66. So overall, it's a great purchase. I'll be able to some freight services, some express services on it, diesel galas, and all that. And running with the 153 along the side, you can see it. It's good, nice little shuttle service along with the big express service to make it accurate. So, yep, really happy with it. Uh, but I think that's going to be it for the video. I've got to go do some stuff. I'm going to try making some shorts with it tomorrow or something. But I might, do, I might make one of those videos where like, you put your own audio over it with another thing. I already know on Type 8, and you can see that got really popular with about 1.5 thousand views. So I might do like 73 or 47 or something. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm um, probably going to make this video premiere, so you'll we'll probably be watching it premiering right now. But uh, yep, thank you for all watching. Uh, thanks for all support. As I, and thank you for all, if you watch the 600 slash 550 slash 650 slash 500 subscriber special that was completely delayed and thank you for watching that too yep see you next time yeah i always give them a lead but see you a lot of more time see ya